Our Beef Today report is brought to you by John Deere and your local John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. In our Beef Today report, not only is Washington in the midst of negotiating a new farm bill, but budget talks continue in earnest. Without a new compromise, the government could shut down again in January. Chairman Ryan's done a very good job of outlining uh, very serious offers, but we can't get Senate Democrats to say yes. Uh, it, it, it is time for the other chamber to get uh, serious about getting this work finished. Details coming out now. According to Politico, congressional budget leaders Paul Ryan and Patty Murray are working on a plan to give some domestic and defense programs uh, that were cut by the sequester a little breathing room through 2015. They hope to do that by replacing cuts with savings in other areas. Ryan and Murray, if they don't reach a deal by next week, House Speaker John Boehner is prepared to pass a bill that would fund the government past January 15th. Ag groups, however, especially cattlemen, say another government shutdown isn't ideal. Now, of course, the first thing that comes to mind is whether or not we can keep government inspectors on the job. We were fortunate in making that happen in October. I think we'll be able to do the same in January, but once again, it will come up as an issue for debate. We have to maintain those inspectors or our industry shuts down. Now, the good thing about a shutdown is EPA shuts down and it keeps them out of our business. So we get a little short-term relief. So that's a mixed bag for us when we look at government shutdowns and what may or may not happen as we get closer to this January 15th deadline. Meanwhile, the renewable fuel standard will take center stage today at the EPA. The agency is holding a hearing on its proposed changes to the 2014 RFS. EPA announced two weeks ago that the amount of biofuels blended into gasoline and diesel supplies for next year should be lowered. That announcement reignited debate between corn growers, livestock groups and the petroleum industry. Many of those industries will testify today on that proposal. Congressional Ag Committee leaders say their meeting Wednesday yielded, quote, great progress. Senator Debbie Stabenow told reporters the group is getting closer on every part of the bill, adding the plan is to finish the farm bill as quickly as possible. And she did decline to give specifics on the number of contentious issues left to work out. USDA Ag Research scientists say they've discovered a new way to fight foot and mouth disease. A protein called interferons are the key they can instantly protect animals against FMD, giving vaccines enough time to induce the animal's own immune response necessary to fight off foot and mouth. 